the fifth member arrived, Mike. <laughs> I'm going with the, for the wild professor look. <laughs> the crazy, the crazy professor. <laughs> Hey Mike, what are you cooking? Uh, oh man, Mike's cooking some ribeye. This is how the BDR is done. Ribeyes on the first dent night. All right, so where we're camped, we're on the gravel section, the first gravel section. We're not even a mile off. Uh... Mike, what highway is that? We're not even a mile off the highway. So we met up with Mike at Denio. Said, let's get on the route and just find the first spot. We found this pull off right here. It's not ideal, but boy, it's not bad. We got Mike's wife dropped him off with his motorcycle and we're camping out here, cooking some ribeyes, gonna have some drinks, gonna have some good times. And the route really starts tomorrow. All right, everybody, we're just gonna chill out right here tonight. And that's the Steens and that's the Alvord Desert. So a little perspective and the route goes that way. All right, see you guys in a bit. One, they were hand up. Which wasn't too bad. But the other one was 14. Oh. But the other one was 14. And so that's I actually really. Everybody wanted to try it. Like, ah, fuck. <laughs> this is bad. Try this. Yeah, oh, I did. Everybody. That's like, here, smell this. <laughs> hey, watch this. What a great night's sleep. Ugh. <laughs> I just think it's so cheesy when people do that. <laughs> so walk to the background, this is the background. Oh, how'd that camera get there? But I just woke up. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, hey, good morning, everybody. We're not even 5 a.m. And we are up and moving and joking and having a great time. All right, every big ride has a riders meeting, so we might as well have one. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Remember, you're responsible for the guy behind you. We're all running the same tracks, but if somebody misses a turn, just at an intersection, look back when you see the person, acknowledge each other, and take off. We've all been left at intersections, and it sucks. So, you're responsible for the guy behind you. Let's look out for each other, right? Hey, you're the Roscoe. All right, thanks, everybody. We're on the route. Starts out really nice. Few little ruts wash out to the road. Nothing to get too jammed up over. This is great riding. Mike is leading. Uh, I don't know what this, the order is. I know uh, Danny's right ahead of me. I kind of like riding sweep. Gives me an opportunity to jump ahead at stops. Try to get some video and, and fall back in the sweep position. So it's just about a year ago, because we we're doing it last uh, 4th of July weekend to Washington when Mike broke his leg. So uh, a year, less than a year, Mike's back on his bike doing another BDR. Guy's an animal. I think there's a fair amount of riders doing it this whoop, whoop, I'm in the rut. There we go. Got caught up in the rut. There's a fair amount of riders doing it this weekend. 
I believe. I don't know if we got a lot ahead of us or they're going to be today Saturday morning if they're going to be coming in behind us. I know we got uh, Ben and Travis behind us. Looks like we got some sort of cow camp up there. Kinds of stuff out there. Wow, this is already spectacular. Somebody came through a little early and laid some ruts down. One of the many reasons why I like Danny ahead of me is uh, he's like that right there. He waits. We've, we've done a lot of rides together. He knows. And I'm guilty. We won't get into it, but I'm, I'm guilty last year on the Washington route. Maybe someday we'll make a video and talk about that. So I'm in second gear. Just cruising. I think it's a great speed. We all agree this year to slow down. We're gonna go right through there. Maybe I'll keep this going. I see a bike. It's a turn around. Let's keep the camera going. I was gonna shut it off, but that just looks too pretty.
Look at this. This across these grasslands or whatever this is. This is fantastic. All right, I don't know if you can see Mike and Danny. There's Dakota getting started on the hill climb. It looks pretty awesome from here, but it may not be that bad when we get on it. Oh, it looks fantastic. I'm gonna hold right here, give Dakota a little space. Here goes Dakota on his 890. You see somebody up there at the top? Oh, this is gonna be nice. Turn off traction control. There we go. Now I gotta get my momentum back up. Well, we're in that damn rut. Easy little climb. Dakota taking a pee. Wow, 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 wow. This does not suck at all. Nice about Mike's orange, you always see him. We got some rock.
So here's one of my problems. Well, I got a long list, but that's why I say one of them. Look at this view. And I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera. When I'm out here, I just want to film everything. I want to show you everything. Um, this is just so spectacular. Um, and I watch it at home, and it's just not as grand. But this is beautiful. It's huge. You can see that we're all the way across to the side. The guys are already. This is just amazing. We're still probably less than 40 miles, 40, 50 miles from the actual start. Probably 30 miles from the pavement. I don't know. It's this route is delivering right from the start. Reviews and great riding. I think you got to find beauty in the desert and you got to find beauty in the solitude. So, so far we've found, Mike usually finds everything because he leads, he's a great leader, he's great navigating. And I like ride and sweep, I like making sure everybody's okay. Um, and I jump ahead and film. But, um, I jumped ahead for a little bit, I found some dude wipes, not a great find. Mike's found some bug spray. I have found a can of beer, um, because most of you know it doesn't mean much to me because I don't drink beer, but somebody ahead of us uh, has an open bag or something and they're just losing stuff along the way. When we catch up with them, we'll, we'll give it back to them, if we do. Now I just shifted into third gear, I have no reason to go any faster. I was in second and I thought, well, maybe I'll save a little fuel. What side is going to have less sand? I can see dust so far out there. There, this just goes. So I really enjoy the uh, the original Oregon Backcountry Discover route that went from uh, Goose Lake, California to uh, Walla Walla, Washington. I enjoyed that route, um, almost every part of it. The section leaving Riley, heading north is well, kind of rocky and I've done it three times and I swear I'll never do it again but other than that section I like that route and I was going to and I still might make a comparison between the two um, from the start I was going to favor the original this is very nice um, so at the end let's uh, talk about which route is actually better Here is a fantastic road. I'm in fourth gear just cruising. I think the guys are probably going a little bit faster than me, and that's fine. Uh, this is just great. Look how straight it is. You don't know if you can see the dust way up there. What a great, what a great, great, great road.
right, two bikes down. Danny's down and Pat's down. Man, Danny hit this rock on takeoff. Let's get this bike up. Fuck, Danny. All right, we'll get this bad boy up for you, Danny. I took off and there's a big rock right in front of me. Let's do this thing, Danny, then you can rest. This is the hard one because it's tires downhill. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Holy oh, shit. <coughs> oh, just, yeah. About the time you think you got your momentum going. I think you, you get up in the air and you're like, uh-oh, I did not see that rock. Filming the dirt. Take it a dirt now. Want to put down the kickstand? No. Put down the kickstand so you can. Oh, uh, we got a. Uh, where is the kickstand? It's on the other side. It's folded up underneath. Oh, it's on that side? Okay. Oh, okay. I hope so, Charles. You're right. Whew. All right. We got to get that front tire hit swung. Yeah. You got to yeah. pull it down here. it and then pull it this way. Yep. What you want? He wants to pull it this way. Someone hit control the front brake. <laughs> Someone holding the front brake. Oh, yeah. Yep. One, Ready, two, set, three. Go. <laughs> this is the start to the Butte. Right, we passed it. Mike and I came back. Hopefully the other guys will stop and Danny can catch him. Well, do we want to wait for him or we want to just do it? I say we do it. Danny knows where to turn. What do you think? Just try it. If it gets too gnarly. We'll turn around.
these flowers. I don't even think it's gotten hard yet. That's kicking the shit out of me. I'm going to try a little second gear. I'll probably end up stomping it down into first, but first gear is a little too torquey and wants to spin. But I certainly don't want to stall. There we go, back into the first. Looks like Mike found his traction out there. Definitely is a breeze up here. It's not a breeze, but there is a breeze. Give Mike a little space. I just jammed the rock in that case. Well, I'd love to stand up. That's what I'm talking about, Mike. Mike and I made it to the top of Beatty's Butte. Um, the, a couple of the guys drove past it. They didn't see the turn. Um, I feel kind of bad. Danny's waiting at a spot or possibly going to get them to bring them back. Danny saw the turn. So Danny knows where it's at. They may or may not want to come up here. Um, we'll hang out for a little bit and see if they do. But it's not that bad. It's a commitment. The last, last hundred yards, Mike? The last hundred yards is a trick. Um, stand up, keep moving, commit. Committed and you will make it. Um, it is beautiful. You can see forever. All right, and I put a shirt up here. I'm not even gonna tell you I hit it. You get up here, you'll see the shirt. If you're the first one up here, grab it. It's a BDR shirt. It's, my, it's an ADV with Roscoe with Oregon BDR in the back. Come grab the shirt, claim it. It's here, it's yours. Holy shit, that Jeep is coming up here. Look at this Jeep. He passed us where we were camped. Then we passed him last night where he was sleeping. He'll probably camp up here. That guy's making some time. I will talk to this guy when he gets up here, but he's uh he made it. Alright. Keep it going, Pat. Keep it going. Go, go, go. Woo. Hey, at least I crashed in a better spot. <laughs> All right, so we got the 850 on the side, right at the crux, right at the crux of getting up to the top. Once you get to this point, everybody, just commit it. Just come around that turn with a little bit of inertia. Pick your line. I like to stay, I stay high and just keep inertia. That's it. And you're boom, you're at the top. Let's get this bike turned around or maybe he's going to go for it. I don't know. We'll see.
right, I apologize for the shirt off shot, but it's hot. Uh, we just I just uh, watered down my shirt in another uh, spring. And we're just kind of chilling here for a little bit. We just came down off the butte. It was a great ride up and a great ride down. So we're just kind of chilling. And uh, we're gonna push on. It's kind of airy, huh? Rawr, rawr. All right, we just hit a roadblock going into Heart Mountain Antelope Refuge. The road is closed, so we've got to reroute around the whole refuge. Um, all right, so we got a plan. We got riders coming up behind us. Travis and Ben are coming up behind us. We'll stop them. Do what? We're gonna look at his map, Mike. You wanna come look at the map? We're right here. That's the route to go that way, right? Yeah. If you oh, wanna man. take the actual sure. bypass, you gotta oh, backtrack yeah. all the way yeah. to the to where yeah. we went. You? Oh right. yeah. Well, Mike was but, talking. So there, there's a road right here. He's gonna tell you I'm bad luck. Right back there. You don't want that me cuts riding across with to this green track, no, which is the actual. Uh, all right, we're here at the uh, Heart Mountain Visitor Center. The uh, route is closed. We had to do an alternative, alternate route around. Um, who knows why? But anyways, it's closed. So right after, uh, man, you come down from the, the, the climb, the butte, the route is closed. You gotta do an alternate route through um, Heart Mountain. So check into that before you head out here. Keep, keep your maps on. Anyways, uh, we're here. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We got a broken brake lever, uh, front brake. So we're, um, we're coming up with a game plan. All right, everybody, stay tuned. It's great, it's hot, it's hot. I think I said at the beginning of this video, BDRs are great, but they're in a, a test of endurance is what they are. It's a, it's a misery fest, it's a great time. So if you don't come with water, if you don't come with electrolytes, if you don't come prepared, they can eat you up. So be prepared when you do them, guys, or don't be a whiner, take your pick. After we discovered the closure in Heart Mountain, things got kind of confusing. I didn't do a lot of recording, but we were able to find our way through Heart Mountain and, and our way to the visitor center. We hung out there, we got some water, and we headed down into Plush, unaware that when we got there, there'd be no fuel. So we sat around the table, ate some dinner, and came up with a game plan. We had some really good luck. We were able to find some ranchers that were willing to sell us some fuel. So we were able to top off our bikes and finish the route. Unfortunately, Danny was not able to come with us because he broke his front brake lever and he was not comfortable riding off-road without front brakes. So stay tuned for day number two when we head out of plush towards Christmas Valley with full tanks of fuel, thanks to the friendly ranchers in that area. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned for day number two. Lots more great riding.